Hey guys, what's up? So today I have a video on how to complete one of these pesky clue scroll puzzle box things you need to do for like hards or elites. I've seen a bunch of comments on my month of mo videos saying that people like drop clues or don't do clues because they just don't want to figure out how to do this puzzle box. I'm going to try to explain how I do it, I, how I personally do it. It is honestly very easy to do. Once you get the hang of it, these are actually pretty fun to do. You won't mind doing them. So uh, yeah, anyways, leave any of your tips below as well. If you guys have any tips for doing these puzzle boxes, please let me know. The way I do it may not be the most efficient way. It's just the way I do it. But I'm just going to explain to you guys how I do it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So on screen right now, I have the completed castle version of the puzzle box. In my case, I have the castle. There are two other puzzle boxes you can get on old school, that being the one of the troll and then the one of the maple tree. Now, if you guys don't have a West buddy, then you can Google image search the completed version of these clue boxes. It's also on the wiki, the RS wiki. If you have a West buddy, if you just go to the sidebar and then go to the clue scroll tab, there are the completed versions of the puzzle box. So popping up right now, I have the steps we need to do to complete this puzzle box. So I have eight steps. If you want to put it simply, it's basically top row, second row, third row, bottom left six boxes, bottom right six boxes. I've broken it down a bit more because when you're doing each row, you want to do the, the two boxes on the very right, um, you sort of want to do it a special way, which I'll show you guys how I do it um, once I go in game and show you. So we basically have eight steps, top left three, top right two, uh, second row left three, second row right two, third row left three, third row right two, and then bottom left six boxes, and then bottom right, we have four boxes. And you will obviously have the empty tile in the very bottom right when you've completed it. So I'm going to go ahead, go in game, and then show you guys how I do these uh this puzzle personally so my way of doing it so here we are let's go ahead and do this so i have the completed version of the clue scroll box right here obviously it's a bit big i'm sorry but bigger is always better so what we want to do now is start off with the first three tiles up here which was the first step in the picture that i showed you guys earlier so the first three tiles are part of the cloud the top part of the left part of the castle and then the sort of clear sky right here so if we find these pieces in game or in the clue scroll box here we have here's the big cloud here is the top part of the left side of the castle, and then we have the clue sky here. And we have to get these three tiles all in a row right here. Don't worry, it seems a bit confusing at first, but it's fine. First thing we want to do is focus on this very top, le top left part, and that's where we want to put this big part of the cloud. So how we're going to get this up here is by using this empty tile right here to our advantage. So we will basically want to move the pieces over here away from this top part so we can get this cloud all the way to the top left part. So to do this, we're going to use the empty tile like I said. We're going to go ahead and use the tiles around the empty square to clear the space up. So if we use this one right here, move that one down, it opens up another tile. We keep moving it down. We'll keep moving the tiles around it in order to clear space up up here. So now we have this empty tile all the way up here, which means we can move this one up and then we can move. You can either move this one or this one. We'll move this one to the side and this one up. And now we have the big part of the cloud even closer to the top left part where we need to put it. So now we're going to keep doing basically what we, we just did. We're going to keep moving the tiles around the empty square in order to clear up space for the big part of the cloud to get up there. So we're going to move this one down, this one down, this one up. We're very close. All we need to do is basically move this tile over. And since this opens up, we can move this down. And then we move the cloud all the way up to the top left part. So we've completed that part. Awesome. So now we need to put two more tiles in to complete this first part. Remember that the tile right here is the second part. So where can we find that, which is right here. Now to get this right here, you want to not move this tile. Remember, once you've put a tile in its spot, you do not want to move it. You can use the empty square and the tiles around it to move it up there. You do not need to move any of the plate pieces that are in the correct spot to get to the spot you need to get to. So we're going to move this one up, this one over. And now this is all the way over here. So we're wondering, OK, how are we going to get this right here? We basically just want to do like a big circle around this make piece. So we'll move this one down these two over, these two down, one over, and move this one up. And now we have the two pieces in the correct spots. Last one is the sky right here. Basically, you want to do the exact same thing as you just did to these two. Now you can either move this one up, move these two down, move this over. And now remember, what we, like we did over there, it's just a big circle all the way around, moving these tiles over. And we've completed that first part. So very easy stuff. So now we want to focus on step two, which is moving the top right part of the castle and the top right cloud next to each other right here. Now, the tricky thing is, is that you don't have a tile, obviously, on this side, so you can't do this singly. You have to worry about the two at the same time. 
So we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is find the two pieces. So here is the top right part of the cloud, or sorry, the top right part of the castle, and then the top right part of the cloud is already in the spot that it needs to be. But since this needs to get there, we have to end up moving this tile because we can't. It's impossible to move this tile to here without moving this one. But that's fine. That's no big deal. And what we want to do is always have the right part of the piece above the left or above the left part. So what we're gonna do is what, what I mean by this is that we're going to go ahead and use the empty tiles to move this one over. You can do this slowly if you want. You can do this quickly, obviously. Okay, so now we have this closer. And now we want to move this part, this piece, down ahead of this piece. So we're going to go ahead and keep using those empty tiles. There we go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get this over. Okay, so here's what I mean. So the top right piece is above the left side of the piece, or the left piece right here. And we want to have that that way. When we move these two up at the same time, they're going to fit perfectly right snug into the corner. And now we have the first row completed. So remember, when you guys are doing these steps on the right, always have the right piece above the left piece when you're doing it. So now you have that perfectly right there. Awesome. So now you guys are done with the first row. You've completed the first row. And you want to do the exact same things for the next two rows. So for the next row, we have this first piece right here, which is the bottom part of the cloud. Again, use the empty tile to move pieces around in order to get that piece to the spot. And boom, just like that, we have it in the right spot. Next one is the sort of slanting part of the side of the castle. Luckily, you guys will sometimes get lucky and have part of the clues done already or really close to the spots. This one is just right below the empty piece, so we're going to slide that right up. And we've completed that. Third step is the top part of the castle. Now this one is right here, sort of like the bumpy area. We're gonna go ahead and use the empty tiles to move this up here. Again, now what, I'm, what I meant by the counterclockwise and clockwise thing is that if you like only move it in a clockwise direction, you'll end up, you know, the piece up there. If you only move it in counterclockwise, it'll end up there. You can do both. I do both during the clue. I don't really focus on one direction. It's just, um, you know, rest in peace, Saint Malik. But it's just, uh, you know, just focus on um, getting the piece to the spot doesn't you have to worry about the counterclockwise stuff so we're going to go ahead and keep moving it up and again we have to do the big circle around here get that all the way to the spot boom so now we have the first three so step three is complete and now we want to do the exact same thing for these two squares like we did up there so we're going to find them the first one is right here and the second one is all the way over here so we're going to move this tile over here in order to get it close to this one and then we're going to basically move these around move this up and now the right part is above the left part just like there here's the right part here's the left part and we can just slide these all the way around and we have the second row done these fit snug right in there awesome so guys we have 10 tiles completed now all we have to do is focus on the last how, how many 15 this is so third row is the exact same thing like you did for the first two rows so if you've gotten this far you are doing perfectly. You don't have to worry about anything else. Just worry about this third row now. So the third row is the background right here, which is right here. So we're, this is a long ways. We're just going to have to keep moving tiles all the way over. And eventually, you will end up at the right spot, just like that. So if I did that a bit quickly, I'm sorry. But basically, once you get the hang of this, that's how quick. You can even do it even quicker than that. If you have faster internet, you're just going to go like, fuck yeah. Um, so yeah. Okay, I don't know what that was, but ignore that. <laughs> okay, so the second part is the, again, side of the castle, which is right here. So we're just going to slide these pieces over. And boom, we have that done. And then the third piece right here is the top part of the door to the castle. And we need to move this piece right here. So we're going to slide the tiles over in order to make room. And boom. Okay, second to last part is fixing or moving these two tiles. So the right side of this part is right here and the left side of the part left side of this part left side of the part is where's that right here so we're going to go ahead and move these over so the tricky thing is sometimes this sometimes the left part will be above the right part but that's fine sometimes you just have to move the tiles around and you'll end up getting that complete so i meant to say this was the left part uh, so we have to get this part ahead of this part so we're going to go ahead and move these around move this one down this one up and now we have the right part above the left part and we can just slide these in just like that and we have the first 
three rows completed, 15 tiles done. Awesome. Now we're very close to the finish. We just have to focus on these last six right here, and you guys are pretty much done. So just as you guys remember, you, I told you earlier, for these right here, you had to always get the right part ahead of the left part. Well, now for these, these six, you always want to get the top part above the bottom part in these two rows. Now, what I mean by this is that I'll show you guys. So we have the this one right here, this piece. So this piece needs to get right here. And we want to have this piece ahead of this piece. And we actually have that done right here. It's already done the castle, the castle, the castle. We have this piece, which needs to go right here, ahead of this piece, which needs to go right here. So if you have this one ahead of this one, you can just keep moving the tiles around. You guys can see right here, I'm actually moving it in the counterclockwise direction. But again, you can do it any other way. And we just want to keep moving these two. Make sure these two always stay together if you have them in the right spot. We have these two. If you just keep moving it along. And then once these two move up, you have that perfectly snug in. And you have these two completed. And you want to do the exact same thing for these two now. So we have the top part, which is right here. And we need to head that ahead of the sort of middle part of the sidewalk, which is right here. So if we just move this down. And then we have to move the other tiles around. And we have to move this piece right next to this piece, which we just move a bit more. All right, now we have this one ahead of this one. And now we can just move the tiles around and fit those two snug in right there. All right, last two right here. We have the bottom part of the door and the sidewalk that starts leading up to the castle. So we want to get this one ahead of this one, which is already it. But it's on the top part. We need to get it to the bottom part. So if we just move this one, this one, this one, this one, this one over, we've now made it from there to there. And we have to do the same thing for this part of the sidewalk. Just keep moving it around. There we go. We now have the two next to each other on the right in the right order. And we can fit those snug right in. So once you've made it to this part with everything correct, you basically just have to move these tiles around until they fit. So what I mean by that, what I mean by that is that this part needs to go right here. So you just have to basically move this over, move this down, move this over, and that fits right there. And then this one already fits right there. And all you have to do is move this over to this piece and you guys have completed the puzzle box. So that completes that. If you do it in that order, you should be able to complete the puzzle box. And once you've done that, exit out of this, exit out of this, we can talk to whoever we had to talk to. Thank you. And we'll get another clue scroll so we didn't finish it, but yeah. Anyways guys, that's how you complete the puzzle box. That's how I do it. If you guys have any questions, leave me, uh, leave a comment below. And um, yeah, I can also make another, I guess, guide on this on doing the clockwise and counterclockwise method. But I don't think it's necessary the way I do it is, I think, fine. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like if you liked a guide like this. And if it did help you out, make sure to leave a like as well. I do appreciate you guys. And I'll see you later for the next video. Peace.